William Hill sponsors Joshua versus Barker live on Sky Sports Box Office. That one there. Okay. No, it is. Make sure you're Leonard and Michael Buff on the same day. I'm winning. <laughs> I'm getting right, 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 Thank you, mate. Cheers. Thank you, I bet you didn't have a clue what I said there. For you. <laughs> 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 I met you. I met you real early on today, you know. That's pretty class. Yeah. Mate, we went there, right? And it was the weirdest experience of my life. He got up off the chair and was like, oh, blah, 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 talking to us, this, that, and the other, and giving us like little things. And we were talking about different fights. I watched all of his fights. And I was saying about Mac, uh, Geraldo, we thought, was a Mexican, and I was like, I'm boxing a Mexican tonight, blah, blah, blah. And then, um, Did you say they've got very hard heads? Yeah, and he fought us, and then the weirdest thing was, I turned round. Um, yeah, I turned round and thought someone else, right? And you no, know, he'd like sort of sat down. And one of the lads had shown him a video of us, and I didn't, re I didn't think he knew, like, of a boxer, like what I was, do you know what I mean? So when he started showing the video, he, um, he, t he jumped back up and he went, hey man, is this you? And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he was like, oh my God, he was like, can't teach us, man, and all that. I was like, oh, lad, really, is rating us. I was like, sorry, lad, I've got a fight today. You're giving us a shake, so. I'm a mad guy, I'm a man. It's unbelievable. Well, why didn't they give us a case for this, bro? They need to give us a case for this. There's probably a bit of something. Case on plugging away. Cheers, thank you, mate. Cheers. Quick minute. I'll get out of the way then because yeah. you want to do the IFL. Yeah. 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 Take the bell. Is this brand new this one? Is that an old one I've been giving us a brand new? Yeah, it's brand new. Is it? My manual. Straight out of the belt factory. Coogan Cassius, IFL TV, MTK Global. We're at the Principality Stadium here in Cardiff and joined by Josh Kelly. You alright? I'm sweet. Let me sit down What's been the highlight of your day then? Buffer, Leonard, winning the belt, beating Carlos Molina, what one? I'm meeting Ray Leonard. <laughs> <laughs> I've been telling you, mate, I'm a, I'm, I'm a massive fan of Ray Leonard. Meeting him today gave us like this weird vibe I was taking. It's meant to be, I'm meant to do the shuffle when I'm boxing. <laughs> so I, went, I went out there and I, when I started getting grip with the fight, that's when I started trying to do a bit, trying to cut a bit like him, nothing like him, you can't do anything like the greats, but I just try to give me all the little versions, so I mean, I'm, I'm buzzing to see, see the lead. So the gist of your story today was Sugar Ray Leonard was impressed with what he saw? Well, yeah, I mean, I don't know whether, I only heard the first part of his sentence and all the rest of it just went like, do you know what I mean? I was, I was sort of starstruck. I never really get starstruck, to be fair, but I always said if I meet the greats of boxing, then I think I'll be taken back, but he, he sort of stepped up and gave his handshake and like, be embraced as we're hugging. For some reason, I got like, a little bit of an emotional rush through my body, and I was like, mm, hold it back, hold it back. So I had all the back a little bit, but and then he watched the he watched the video of us, and he was he was um he was he, was, he rated us a little bit. So I was I was just like took back by it. I just I thought I'll show him, the bloke showed him ten seconds. One of, one of my friends showed him ten seconds, Tommy, and then um, after that I thought get it away from him. I don't want to pester him with a, with a video because he just he might not like what he sees, and he was loving it. So I was buzzing. Yeah. That was this morning. Now, tonight, obviously. Uh, got this yeah. nice new belt. Yeah, brand new belt. Brand new, baby. Um, yeah, Carlos Molina, former world champion. Me. 10 rounds. It was always going to be a tall order to Me. stop him. He's never been stopped before. No. But um, were you pleased with your performance tonight? Yeah, because I think, I, like, on terms of hurting him, I don't think I properly hurt him. I think I stunned him a few times where he must, he might have got a shot. He I might have given him a flash because he stepped back a few times. But he knows how to look after himself. As soon as he, as soon as he took a step back, he went really low, and then he come up swinging and he was grabbing. I mean, for me to get him out and would be like you said a tall order. And I knew if I if I caught him properly, I could I could have done it. But it was catching him that was the problem. And um, that's why a lot of the rounds I was just trying to flick a jab out and beat him on speed, purely speed. 
and then that's why I end up, I end up thinking to myself, it's going to go to the point, so I'm just going to catch him, catch him, and then see if the speed catches him off guard. But it was good. I was, I was really happy with him. Forms got caught a few times, but um, he's because he's it's a really it's a positive really for him that he's so he's like he's so slow that when he goes to throw the punch, you used to slipping and you're waiting for the punch to come and you like that like that like that. Then he tosses it and he catches you, or you. You toss a shot and you expect them to come back with a counter straight away. The counter's a second slower than normal and then it catches you. So that's just all experience. Like I said, not many people step up in six fights and take the next world champion on and then beat them. Beat them. So just beating them is really good enough. So happy. Yeah, a, few, a lot of eyebrows were raised when this fight was announced between yeah. you and Carlos Molina in your sixth fight. Yeah. Uh, seeing the calibre of opposition that Molina had been in with. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I know he's, I know he's getting on, but it could cause it could cause people trouble, especially over ten rounds. Because I thought he's going to come out slow and what he's wearing. And I mean, I, I think I'm, I don't know what to really say. Really, I'm um, I'm still thinking the Sugar Ray Leonard back the day. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think I, I did a decent performance. Got caught a few times, sloppy. I knew I was getting caught, but it weren't weren't hurting. So I'm glad in a way. I'm glad I got tested uh, on the chin. Of a, but not, I know he's not a massive puncher, but still every punch was like, he's not a big puncher in the sense where he'd hit you and he, not, he could knock you out. Every, anyone knock you out, but he's like sort of a hard, everything's like quite hard, like there. You can't take risks for him. So I lost my foot in a couple of times. I mean, I'm, I'm my biggest critic, so I think I'm talking too fast. I think, um, like I said, I'm, I'm all a bit too excited. Michael Buff is just coming in as well, so it's all a bit mad. It's got a clip of you and Buffer, actually. Did you? Yeah. Oh mate, it'll be an embarrassing one if you put that one on. <laughs> no, it was alright, it was alright. Um, June 16th now for you? Yeah, I'm guessing. I'm guessing. So, June 16th. I didn't hear what Eddie Hearn said but in the post fight, but he obviously mentioned that you and Lewis Ritson will be on the bill. Yeah, I'm guessing me and Lewis Ritson will be on the bill. So, it'll be a great card up there in Newcastle. I think, we'll sell it. I think we could sell it out because. Lewis has got a massive fan base up there. I'm starting to get quite a really good few fans and like not just fans but friends, like lower people who follow us and I talk to them all the time, try to get back as many people as I can on social media and texts and everything else. So I mean I can't wait. Seven fight, we'll see who we'll see who's next. Who would you like to be next? I didn't expect Carlos Molina to be next, so <laughs> <laughs> you never know he's gonna come with Adam Booth's head. Mind Eddie, we've got this. Adam's so excited about me at the moment, and Eddie is so. When them two get together, the names start cropping up, and you're thinking. <laughs> but I even thought a little bit when the fight got me a call, and I thought, let's have a look at him. I start, I start sending and sending the videos around. I said I might be fighting this bloke. So like my dad and people, I'm like, ex world champion. It's going to be a tough fight. But I've trained hard for it. I've been training really hard. I'm training with world champions, I'm training with Ryan Livermore, I'm doing everything, do you know what I mean? And then um, I got the support of a really, really tight circle in the gym, the team, my fiance, big shout out, <laughs> looking after us all the time. Um, and you got like of Terry, John Moore, everyone, Roger, H, everyone looking after you in the gym as well as Adam, do you know what I mean? I've missed anyone out, I don't think I have Charlie beat, <laughs> I'm getting all the <laughs> names in. Um, mate, everyone, so keep the bubble small and just keep moving moving forward Josh Kelly thank you very much for coming to IFL TV is there anything you'd like to add um, I just thanks for all the support that people keep giving us I mean I'm quite an introvert really at heart so to come out and um, sort of switch like I said in front of the cameras in front of, when I get out there it's not my personality whatsoever I'm going back to the um, hotel now and eating some pizza and Going to bed, you're not serious for another couple of months, so <laughs> I guess I'll, I'll be out somewhere just chilling by myself, going for a drive for the missus, whatever. But it's all good. Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll catch up with you soon. Sweet. Thank you, boss. Cheers, mate. Cheers. <laughs> That's how boxing should be. Hill sponsors Joshua vs. Barker live on Sky Sports Box Office.